Hey, I'm Jake from the Rum Coves. Uh, sing and play guitar in the band and uh, just talk to cheese on toast about what's coming up. Um, so basically we went through some changes at the end of last year. So we were a five piece um, and about September last year we parted ways with um, Jono who's our drummer, been a drummer for five years. And also we had uh, Kendall who was singing with us as well. Uh, and she decided the time was right for her to go and do her solo work, um, which she'd been talking to us about for, for a while. And that kind of, you know, changed things up, got a new drummer, back to a four piece. Um, uh, so the new stuff's uh, kind of back to what some of the earlier songs were like, sort of a bit more punky and a bit more um, straightforward maybe. So we're gonna go back in the studio um, and probably look to do some EPs rather than uh, an album, you know, just get four or five songs done. And we've got an idea, because we've got a handful of slower songs and then a handful of quicker songs. Maybe do an EP or the slower, you know, slightly more psych stuff and then uh, another EP of the, the quicker punk things, try and get them out fairly quickly. Has always helped is that we've had different perspectives come to play. So, I mean, we always described ourselves as a, as a garage band, but we're not really a garage band, we're only a rock and roll band. I mean, I love, have always loved 60s music, you know, everything from the Shangri-Las through to, you know, um, Small Faces. I've always been influenced by um, the kind of moddy 60s stuff, um, as well as things like the MC5 and the Stooges and, and what have you. Um, and then you've got Thomas, who's from, from Chile, and he has a whole different set of influences, but he's, um, he's quite psychedelic, is, is our Tommy. So, um, you know, he brings another flavor to it. You know, so even if you come with a song that you think sounds a particular way, when you get those other influences, it, it changes. We've got three shows coming up at the moment. We've got the uh, 8th of April at Lucha Lounge, um, part of its farewell three months. Um, you know, and it's a shame to see another awesome Auckland venue not continuing. Uh, Karen's done awesome work there, it's disappointing. Uh, then we've got uh, April the 9th in uh, Raglan, if anybody wants a trip out of town. Um, and that's on at the Yacht Club, uh, which is run by a good friend Andy. And <laughs> You will never not have a good time at Yacht Club, so um, try it out. Uh, and the other show is the 7th of May at Wine Cellar with Tony Daunt and the Dauntless. Um, and at Lucha we've got um, Will Saunders playing with us and Kendall is coming to do her solo set for us, which we're stoked about. Uh, and then um, Yacht Club we've got the Dirty Sweets playing with us as well, so they're good friends, so it's always fun. You know, there's, there are so few good venues, you know. Um, uh, there's not a single one in the north of Auckland. I mean, just isn't. Um, and, and, you know, Jimmy, who's, who plays in the band, was in a band, well, he wasn't in a band, but he was, went to a band called Nothing At All that were around years ago and played on the shore. And they played multiple places, and it was filled with kids, and everyone was having a great time, you know. And it was, and there was a whole scene and a whole culture there. And the same would have been happening in the east and in the west and in the south, and you know. And now you look at places to play, and there's, there's just not that many. Now the upside, obviously, is that it means people have got to force to do cool stuff. Uh, I'm Jake from the Run Coves. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of Cheese on Toast.